dreading this day. Today is what I imagine it feels like to have collections at your door coming to steal, repossess all of your belongings. Today, I am getting rid of shit. Number one technique that I have used to further my manifestations, we're gonna talk about it today. This is something that I've kind of done without knowing that I was doing it, but since I've decided to become intentional with it, I've noticed a change in my life. I've noticed a shift in energy, opportunities, all these things, and we're gonna, we're gonna chat today, okay besties? We're gonna chat. All right, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley Flores, and I talk about everything on here. I like to cook, I like to talk shit, I like to talk about manifestation, spirituality, and self-awareness, and whatever else comes to my mind. Today, in particular, we're gonna be talking about manifestation, and we're just gonna go over a technique that we can all use as a collective to bring more abundance into our life. If you didn't know, I have a TikTok in which I condense all these videos on YouTube into like one minute each. Um, for people who don't keep up with my channel, you can keep up with my YouTube. But anyways, let's talk. All right, so I'm just gonna spit it out. Purging, that is the technique. Purging, okay? Now let me explain. So you're probably just like, what? Are you talking about throwing up? Are you talking about getting rid of stuff? We're not talking about throwing up, although apparently that's really good for you when doing ayahuasca ceremonies, but that's another story. So, when we think purging, we think to get rid of things, whether it be the insides of your stomach or the clothes in your closet. What I've learned is that in order for your manifestations to come to fruition, there needs to be room in your life for them. You need to make the space for them. That's why, I'm sure many of you have noticed that, right when you break up with someone, suddenly your life gets 10 times better and you're attracting more abundance. Or when you cut off that toxic friend, suddenly you're making a bunch of new friends. It's because you need to snip, snip, snip the dead leaves in order for the plant to thrive and blossom and bloom. This is a fake plant, so I don't do that to this one. But, I mean, I'm not a plant mom, so. Anyways, you need to make room for what is about to enter your life. Abundance is not gonna flow into your life if there's no space for it. The example I gave on my TikTok is that you can't be stuffing clothes into a closet that's already jam-packed. You need to get rid of some clothes. You need to make room for the clothing. Otherwise, you're gonna bring all this this nice clothing, you're gonna thrift, you're gonna go shopping, you know? And you're gonna have to leave it in a pile outside of your closet door because there's no room in the closet. It can't enter the closet. It won't fit. There's no space. This is my closet right here, that's why I'm pointing. There's no space in your closet. You need to get rid of some shit. Those old t-shirts you haven't worn, those raggedy pants you're holding on to because they're nostalgic and they remind you of your childhood. You need to get rid of that hoodie from your ex. You need to get rid of all that shit and toss that shit in the trash or donate or sell. Get rid of it so that the pile of clothes that's waiting to enter your closet can be hung up and placed on the rack all nice, you know? In life, we need to make room for the abundance that's ready to enter our lives. So what this means is yes, that closet example is literal. You need to get rid of some clothes. You need to get rid of that dusty piece of art that you never hung up that you don't really like and you don't know what to do with. You need to get rid of things. I got rid of five garbage bags worth of clothing this week. And I've already purged this year. I thought I got rid of everything I needed to get rid of, but no, I was wrong. I got rid of so much more because I know that my life is about to change. I feel it, I feel it. I don't know what it is. It's, it's this energy that I feel and you guys are gonna see it on my channel. You're gonna see it's gonna change. And one day I'm gonna watch this video and be like, damn. But yeah, like I feel the change, but I also know that I'm holding on to so many things right now and I don't need to be holding on to all these items. Physical items are just physical items, you know? There's no point in forming attachments to items because it's just material shit. We don't need that much. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm a minimalist because I'm not. 
However, I'm working towards becoming more minimalistic and living a little bit with a little less, you know? I've gotten rid of things that I don't need, including hair products, including nail polishes, a lot of a beautiful, good quality, expensive makeup, a lot of things that were sitting in my car. And like, if you guys only saw the amount of stuff I got rid of, it's because I know that I need to make room for new. I stopped communicating with certain friends, you know? My ex and I broke up. I quit a job that I was working because I knew it was holding me back. I had a job for fucking one month, which a lot of you guys didn't know, but I had a job for one month, it was hell. Um, I got rid of things, you know? I cut people off, I cut things out of my life. I stopped giving my energy to certain things. I stopped watching certain content creators. I stopped watching certain shows because I know that it doesn't serve me. Get rid of the stuff that no longer serves you in your life and you'll see things will start flowing. They'll start flowing. I got rid of so many pieces of clothing. Like, it hurt. I love my clothes. I love my clothes, but you know what they are? They're just clothes. I kept a bunch of statement pieces that I wear and I can recycle into different outfits. And I just know that when my life changes a little bit, I can replace my wardrobe with high quality items that I like better than just like the hundreds of Shein pieces that I had, you know what I mean? So yeah, I got rid of a bunch of clothes and a bunch of stuff. I feel like I have a little bit of border in me. Like if it was like genetics, I would be like 30% border because I don't fully claim it, but I definitely do have attachment issues to material items and it's not okay. I've been watching lots of YouTube videos on minimalism and in no way do I think I can be a minimalist. I really, I don't. I don't think I could ever do it. I love stuff. I do. I would love to be one. I admire the people who are minimalists. It's just gonna be me. Okay, I just wanna address the elephant in the room. And that is my side profile. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see what it is, what it looks like. I just. I'm not leaving the house today and I thought it wouldn't be visible on camera and it is so let's just address that now I'm sorry you have to see it but my hair took me five minutes and that's that's it so I guess it shows right now I'm looking for more things to get rid of I've already gotten rid of like a few things a few <laughs> I will show you it's a lot more than a few but now I'm like I'm trying to get rid of more because I have so much stuff and it's driving me crazy As you can see, I have a little setup here. This is my Depop setup. <laughs> so this is my stuff. Let me show you. Okay, I have lots of stuff in here. I'll show you like quickly. A bunch of shoes, some crew necks, some menswear shirts. <sighs> this is some Zodiac Haven merch, honestly. I don't care for it. Oh my God, this jacket. I don't know, I just have so much clothes, I have to get rid of it. So I have a bunch of clothes here that I'm getting rid of, so Brenda's gonna go through it, her friend's gonna go through it, and then it's going to Value Village. This is the pile she's working with right now. There's some good stuff. So far she's sorted through this, and she's gonna keep this pile right here, and she's on to the next pile. All right, we're on pile number three. Ooh, the Victoria's Secret robe is like iconic in my wardrobe. I'm gonna miss that one. So I just wanted to share this because I feel like a lot of people don't realize the importance of this in manifesting. You can't manifest stuff into your life when you have a block that's up. How can you imagine your dream partner and manifest your dream partner, the love of your life, when you're hung up over this situationship that you've been in for two years? You're still waiting for this guy to text you and tell you that he wants you to be his girlfriend or boyfriend, you know? like. You're still waiting for that friend to learn how to act. You're still waiting for people to change, you know? Stop waiting for people to change and just let them exit your life and attract better people, attract better love, attract healthier friendships, you know? Like, don't be holding on to people because you've been friends with them for 12 years if they're not good for you. How can you have a close best friend when you're giving all your energy to this one person? There's no room for a new friend in your life that's good for you because your energy is going towards toxicity. And obviously this doesn't apply to everybody. I don't mean to come for your next and attack. I've just been there. 
you know we all have my life has gotten a lot better since my breakup and i'm sure my ex's life has gotten a lot better since our breakup as well it happens when you're with someone that you're not meant to be with you can hold each other back and i'm okay knowing that i probably held him back in many ways you know it happens that's why people break up and i'm okay knowing that one of my close friends that i'm no longer friends with yeah i miss her but I'm okay knowing that we're not friends anymore because I've attracted like five new great friends into my life that I probably wouldn't have met if her and I were still like really close. Make room for what you want in your life. Get rid of your shit. Get rid of it. Get rid of your physical items. Get rid of the people. Get rid of whatever it is that you're thinking of while I talk about this. I know there's something in your mind that you know you gotta get rid of. I know it, but you're like, Oh, but the memories. Oh, but <sighs> when I was young, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nostalgia is a trap. I'm a super nostalgic person, you know? I have pajamas from when I was nine just because I've had them since I was nine. Don't get me wrong, there are certain things I'm holding on to. I will not lie to you. However, if I had a hundred things I was holding on to before, I now have three. And that's enough for me. That's enough. Because we as humans, we like to overconsume. We like to just have too much of everything especially in north america you know like we just like to, to do the most and we really don't need to we can live with less it's okay it's okay i swear to you it's time to purge and i got rid of so much stuff and i don't regret it do i miss some pieces absolutely but will i forget they ever existed in a week probably yeah cut off the dead weight snip snip ho make room for what you want in your life and i'm telling you you will manifest what you've been waiting for because now there's room for it it can enter that closet the closet has space there are hooks now that are available you know that pile of clothes outside it can get hung up now it can get folded whatever you do you shove it in you can do whatever you want but there's room make the room Thank you for watching. I hope this resonated with you. Let me know three things that you're gonna be getting rid of. I'll tell you three things that I got rid of that really hurt me. Mm. Bitch, I already forgot. I already forgot. <laughs> I already forgot. Literally, I remember sitting like, oh, do I really wanna get rid of this? No. And now here I am, I, I don't remember. I don't remember, so you know what? You're gonna be just like me a week after you get rid of it because you're gonna be like what did i what was i crying over again just do it just do it thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye guys